Hi, this is Ifu Nick, here in my studio in Phoenix. I'm back with my buddy Saul Black from BlackSunRenaissance.com, and today we're going to show you some fighting applications from the second section of the dummy form. The first technique in the second section of the dummy form that we're going to look at is our pox cells. So, easiest way to use these is from a fighting perspective is if your opponent is up feeding you straights and you just want to redirect those, steer them away from your head so that you don't get impacted. We can also add with this some shifting to help get you further out of the way. And they're more dynamic than we can step out of the way as we go and really get a much better line to counterattack from there. So after a pox house comes the jut sal, fox sal, jut sal and strike again. Now uh, in the form and often in the application, your arm is going to be a little bit extended before you jut. It's going to give us better power when we do that pulling down and back. All right. So let's say that I'm actually throwing the first strike in this example and I miss and I'm overextended. So as I come in, he punches, I've got to pull back with my jut sal, then I can fox sal, use his jut to continue to cover and strike again. Oftentimes, if we're using our, our bong sal, it's because something else hasn't gone right. For example, maybe our hands were down instead of up when he first throws a punch. So this could be a punch low here, or it could even be up higher when we would just use our bong up higher. But it's very quick to bring this up. Look how close the elbow is already to defend my head or anything else below that compared to if my hands are all the way down and then having to bring up a hand and change direction or even coming up this way. This gives us another option with a closer tool if we did see it coming and our hands were still down. So, and if we're here and he punches, say maybe a, a low high combination, then we have this shape. The so next application that we want to have a look at is we're going to use this fox style, sometimes called this eternal man style, sort of in the middle of the form just before we get to the kicks. There's two main ways that you'll see people doing it on the dummy, and they're both great. It's just a question of a difference in application. So first way we'll look at in the dummy form, we come in very deep and then step back and then kick. The reason that we step back is because of the limitations of the dummy. If we do the first part of the technique correctly, the opponent's actually going to move away from us, but the dummy doesn't move. So right here, as he steps in for the punch, we step out of the way, guiding with the pox out, and then we're going to lift as we shift our weight and shove him away. And then we can follow up with that side kick. So the second way that you'll see people do this technique on the dummy they don't step in as far with this technique, and then they just lean back and kick. So it's just a little more of a step off to the side and kick. So what we're doing with this is getting out of the way of the punch, throwing it away, and taking advantage of the opening here, or we can come down here if we're not as confident with our kicks. Or the initial step should actually put us out of the way of the first punch, and what's likely a second one coming from the other hand. Notice that we're plenty clear, but we still have range for our side kick to go into the opponent. That wraps things up for fighting applications from the second section of the dummy form. Please like, subscribe, or share as you fancy, and keep an eye out for our next video coming soon. As always, happy training.